today we are discuss about the synthesis of paracetamol here we can see the paracetamol act as a analgesic drug okay and it has two group like the alcohol group and amide group so that group act as act due to that group paracetamol act as an analgesic drug now we'll switch to the little bit background and the introduction of paracetamol paracetamol known as acetaminophen and also in short form is term as APAP. The abbreviation APAP is referring the acetaminophen and is very common pain relieving and fever reducing drug. The acronyms APAP for automotive positive airway pressure, a medicinal device used to treat a sleep apnea. The use of paracetamol is as a mild analgesic treat a many conditions such as a headache, muscle ache, arthritis, backache, toothache, cold and fevers. It relieves pain in mild arthritis but no effect underlying the inflammation or swelling at joint. All drug has a side effect so paracetamol also. So it's a normal allergic re reaction is like a hives, difficulty in breathing, swelling of your face, lip, tongue and throat. But a serious side effect cause a serious problem to the human body, which is lower fever with nausea, stomach pain and loss of appetite, dark urine, clay color stool and jaundice. So that is a serious side effect. Now we are switched to the complete paracetamol. The principle of paracetamol is the synthesis of amide essential just required running the reaction under certain temperature condition with appropriate catalyst. Here we use concentrated sulfuric acid as an acidic catalyst. Paracetamol is prepared from the paraaminophenol by acetylating it with acetic anhydride in presence of 3-4 drop of acid catalyst. The requirement, the chemical requirement is paraaminophenol, acetic anhydride, concentrated sulfuric acid and the glassware requirement conical flask, measuring cylinder and filter paper. Now we are switched to the our main property is mole ratio. How to calculate a mole ratio of paracetamol? So here as we can see the mole is equal to weight by molecular weight and the mole ratio suppose we want to get this mole ratio C1, M1 and M2. So the M1 mole ratio we will get with the help of the mole ratio, the moles of paraminophenol divided by the moles of paraminophenol. If we want to get M2, then the moles of acetic anhydride divided by the moles of paraminophenol, we will get the mole ratio. So now using this mole ratio, we will switch to the taken amount. So in the taken amount given 5.5 gram of salicylic acid. If we divide by its molecular weight, we will get the mole of salicylic acid which is 0 0.050 and if we multiply the mole, we can call it C, this is D, this is E, this is F, this is G and this is H. Our main target to get the H to complete the reaction or to start the reaction. So here what we get, it is a C. Now we want to get a F. So C into E is equal to F. So the value of C here we get 0 0.050 and the, the mole ratio of acetic anhydride which is taken from previous given table it is 0 0.0786. So we get that mole of acetic anhydride is 0 0.039. So that mole when we multiply with the molecular weight, so molecular weight is G. So when we multiply that mole with a molecular weight is 102.09 then we get H and the H is called given weight or the weight of acetic anhydride whatever we, we want to take on is 4.04 gram and then we divide with the density is given 1.06 then we get in ml so it's 3.81 ml required acetic anhydride for the reaction with salicylic acid to get a product para amino phenol or to get a product paracetamol. Now we will switch to the reaction. So that is the paraminophenol when it's react with acetic anhydride in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid 3 to 4 drop as a catalyst we will get paracetamol and acetic acid the byproduct. Now we switch to the mechanism. So what is the mechanism here? Here we can see 
due to the inductive effect this charge transferred to that oxygen atom the lone pair of nitrogen is attached to that carbon and formation that kind of intermediate that intermediate again the charge polarity is transferred back to the bond and this bond is shifted towards here and finally we will got our product paracetamol as a by product it releases a acetic acid now we look for the procedure so in procedure we will take 6 gram of para aminophenol transferred into 100 ml dried conical flask add 6.5 ml acetic anhydride 3 to 4 drop concentrated sulfuric acid in the content of the flask may be mixed thoroughly you have to mix it thoroughly throughout the whole the practical when the mixture on a water bath previously maintained 60 degree centigrade temperature to 20 25 minutes with a constant stirring so allow the content allow the flask to achieve the room temperature and pour it direct in the beaker of 100 ml of cold water with few chips of ice it means it's little bit of cold with ice chips and stir it vigorously crude product is obtained it filter on the funnel and again wash with cold water to remove excess of acetic acid dry it in electric oven till 100 degree temperature and the crude product yield is 6.8 g approx and the melting point is 169 to 170.5 degree centigrade so how recrystallize it so using 70% of ethanol it means you have to prepare 70% ethanol or rs rectifier spirit warm it 60 degree temperature dissolve a crude inside then add 2 g of powdered animal charcoal to remove the color impurity to remove its the color impurity filter the concentrate on the over bath over the water bath allow to cool a large monocaloric crystal separate it out it's 6.5 g the yield of the crystal and melting point is 169 to 175 degree centigrade as it is what we get in a crude product now we'll tell bit switched about the calculation so in calculation the starting material is a para aminophenol the molecular formula is para aminophenol c6h7no paracetamol is 6c8h9no2 the molecular weight is 109 g per mole and the molecular weight of para paracetamol is 151 g per mole so we can say that if we get 109.5 g para aminophenol we will get 151 g of paracetamol if we get a q in our case the q is 5.5 g so that 5.5 g when we get put it here we get the theoretical yield b with the practical yield we will get 3.7 g so when we calculate we will get percentage yield now we will switch to a little bit the characterization table first we will look for the ir spectrum in the ir spectrum of paracetamol we will get here of two harms the one is 3 Two double zero and another is three three double zero centimeter. So it's belong to that which group you have to decide. There is another hump here is one seven double zero centimeter. So that you can achieve with the help of the IR spectrum of the paracetamol. Yes, we have two functional groups present is NHCO CA three and OH. The mass spectrum shows one fifty one and another peak is it has shown one fifty two. So it's recommend that M plus P. and it is m plus 1 ion peak so it's also confirm the synthesis of paracetamol now is the characterization of paracetamol through the nmr technique here we'll see that this 1.97 peak is belonging to the ch3 group directly attached to c00 that 6.668 peak belonging to the OH group the 7.3 ppm peak is belonging to the two hydrogen of aromatic ring the 9.4 peak is belonging to the also two hydrogen of the aromatic ring and then the final is the highest 9.66 ppm belong to the NH directly attached to the benzene ring due to that we can say we can conclude that yes our compound is prepared to after characterization of nmr technique now is the result table you have to write the name formula molecular weight formula weight melting points and all the details given in the conclusion portion you have to write here the presence of group nhcoch3 and oh group which is identify identification for the preparation of paracetamol 
through the through the calculation technique percentage yield whatever you get through the calculation you have to put it here there is some references thank you for watching please subscribe the channel press the bell icon to get notification